What do you consider to be your biggest lesson in real estate? Well, um, going into business, um, and, and this is kind of a bit of a personal thing, but I mean, it is, it is applicable. Um, and if I can stop somebody from making the same mistake, going into business with my ex-partner and not having business agreements in place, yeah. that would be cost me a hell of a lot of money. Yeah. Um, you know, it's like you're in a relationship and you think everything's fantastic and everything's great. Yep. Um, then if the, the wheels fall off and, and the reason I'm saying this, normally I don't kind of air dirty laundry or anything like that, but <laughs> I've had two people in the last week, two women yep. um, that have actually reached out and said, you know, that they're having trouble with this sort of thing now. So, you know, that would be my advice or, or my learnings is is in business to always have business agreements. Don't think it's just a mate and have a handshake or, a, you know, whatever. Business is still business and, and your finances, you've still got to look after yourself financially as well and your children. Yeah. And don't just think that everything's going to be okay because sometimes, you know, a lot of the time it is and that's great, but sometimes the walls, you know, the wheels do fall off. Yeah, so that would be my my piece of advice. Your piece of advice, yeah. I definitely think so too, especially in, as, as we sort of, as the world matures more and we're in more precarious situations like COVID and things like that, having these agreements in place is definitely something that I would advise, um, you know, all agents to do, you know, yeah, and make absolutely. sure you read them. Don't just sign them. Yeah. You know, yes. <laughs> make sure you read them. Don't just sign them. That would be the other yes. thing too.